What a run it has been for the Atlanta Braves over the last five seasons. Only the Los Angeles Dodgers have more wins or a better record than the Atlanta Braves. One of the reasons is because of the skipper, the man leading the charge. Brian Snitker joining me now live from Florida. And Snit, thanks so much for taking the time to be with us. You have uh, your eyes on your full squad now for about a week. What's your, been your first impression? Um, it's been really good. I mean, we've had great weather down here. The guys are really focused. Um, I, you know, they got that look in their eye again. And, and um, you know, we've had, like I say, with the weather, we haven't had um, any delays. Guys are getting all their work in. Now the games have started. Um, and it's good. I mean, it's kind of, we were excited to start games and, you know, with all the new rules and everything to experience that. But it's been a great camp. The guys, like I say, have been very focused on, on um, what they needed to do. And uh, it's been a fun time. Snit, you'd mentioned the new rules, and of course that's been the talk over the course of the weekend as the new rules have been implemented uh, in these games. And you got a firsthand look at it yesterday in the yeah. game between you guys and the Red Sox and, and Cal Conley getting uh, thrown out there, I guess, if you will, with that third strike called because uh, he didn't get in the box fast enough. What has been your impression so far of the pitch timer, bigger bases, and a lack of a defensive shift? Well, I, I think uh, I've loved the, the clock. I think already we've seen the games are more crisp. Um, I see the guys on, you know, both teams, everybody we've played are, you know, they're adjusting already, I think. It's, it's, I think they've done a really good job of adhering to the, to the rules. There's going to be some inadvertent violations, I think, guys, just because they've been so ingrained in, into the way they're doing it. I think you're going to see the advent of the single again. I've seen that already where there's going to be base <laughs> hits and, and um, with the lack of the, um, you know, with the lack of the shifts or whatever. Matt Olson got one in his first at bat the other day that was an out. Um, there was a couple of balls yesterday were hit in the infield and I thought they were outs and all of a sudden they're rattling around in the outfield. So um, I, I honestly, I think, I don't know about the bases. I really haven't nuzzled up to any of the players to see what their thinkings are on that yet. But um, I, you know what? I think everything that we've done is going to be all for the better. Yeah, more stolen bases makes the game a little bit more exciting. How does a 101 win team get better? It's hard to think that there's anything else you guys can do to beat what you did last year, except maybe advance a little further into the playoffs. But what a tremendous season you had. No, it was. It was, it was really a good season. And, you know, we went, I think, you know, we were – below 500 the first of June then kind of you know started playing the way we were capable but um, I, I you know what I think these guys always to a man feel they we can get better I think they all feel they can get better individually and I think everybody feels like that we can be better as a as a team and I think with another year's experience and an already young team that we you know definitely can can do that so um, you know it's, it's my big thing is I think you got to check that first box and that's a division till you till you get in the playoffs you don't give yourself a chance to do anything special so um, you know I think our guys are focused on that they're focused on preparing every day and and um, I think it was, it's what makes it a really fun group to be around you mentioned winning the division snit how do you guys hold off a very free spending New York Mets team well I you know what it's a tough division it was a tough division last year I think a lot everybody got better um, I, you know, we got better. We're going to continue to improve, and that's why we play the games. You know, we can't worry about that. I mean, it's um, it's a long season, as we found out the last couple of years. I mean, you just have to, you know, you have to stay consistent. Um, you have to continue to prepare and and just give it everything you got on each given night. So um, we don't look at that. We don't worry about what other teams are doing. The only thing we can control is our team. So, you know what, that's why we play 162 games in such a long season because, you know, the um, you know, anything can happen. You said that right. 78 and 34, Major League best record from the beginning of June until the end of last season for you guys last year. I want to ask you a little bit more about a, an acquisition that I think is really going to help you guys with Sean Murphy, a guy that is known to have such a great arm. With the way that there's restrictions now, Skip, on the way that the pitchers can throw over to first, can we anticipate a few more back picks from a, from a guy like that? Yeah, I, I think, you know, that his arm is a weapon. So I, I kind of think him incorporating that a little more as guys continue to work at, you know, work at bigger leads with the bases and the advent of, of the stolen base. I think that's something that when you have a, a weapon like that, like we do behind the plate, um, you, you go ahead and you use it. And, um, you know, he's what a great addition. What a great person. Um, he's fit right in here. And it's just it's amazing. You know, I've just seen him from afar and we played two or three games every now and then against the uh, 
the A's, but man, just a quality, quality player. If you look at the shortstop position, that's probably the only question mark the Atlanta Braves have, obviously, with the subtraction of Dansby Swanson, who goes over to the Cubs. Time for the future at that position. Is it more of a clearer picture for you now over Grissom or Arcia? No, not really. I mean, we're going to play all these games and, you know, we've only got two games under our belt. So um, we'll continue to, you know, to play the string out, give them both um, a lot of reps, a lot of games. And, and I think, you know, somebody will somebody will surface. But um, I love where both of the guys are. Um, RC have played winter ball all year. Um, just, you know, just got back from from the Caribbean series and, and uh, Vaughn has worked extremely hard, which he always does. The thing that impresses me most about this kid is he's a ball player. He loves to work. Um, he loves to prepare. He has fun playing, and it's going to be exciting. I mean, I don't, you know, it's, it's, they're both going to uh, have a lot of opportunity in this spring to show us what they can do. Yeah, it's a good problem to have when you have two quality guys like that at that position. How much do you need a bounce back year from a couple of these guys as far as Eddie Rosario, Marcella Zuna, and Michael Sirocco? Yeah, it'd be huge. I mean, we need all three of them. You know, it's it's Eddie already has looked really good in camp. Um, I, I don't think you can. You know, it's it's people realize a little bit of a vision problem in this sport is huge. And and Eddie tried to gut through it. He couldn't do it. And I think you're going to see a, a definitely you're going to see a different player. Marcel too. I mean, he was he's he had a rough year. Um, but you know, you look at some numbers and they weren't all that bad. So hopefully, you get rebounded years out of those two guys, and it just going to add to, to the strength of our club and Mike Soroka you know he's another one that if we can get him back and if even if it's just for a few starts I mean I, I told the guy we used 11 starters last year so we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> need him so hopefully he can get back he can get back to where he was prior to the injury is it realistic to think that Soroka could win a spot in that rotation um, I, I don't know that he's going to have enough time to do that if, or we'll get him stretched out. I mean, it's, you know, we still got a long way to go, so we'll see. But I think more than that, we just want to get him back on the mound regular and being one of the guys and, and pitching and, and doing what he can do. I, I don't, you know, I, I don't know that we have any definitive uh, place that, that we need him to be, but we just, you know, we're kind of, again, with him taking it a day at a time and, and hopefully he progresses and gets to a point where he can help us. All right, Michael Soroka trying to bounce back from a surgically repaired Achilles. Brian Snicker looking forward to seeing what the Atlanta Braves can do in 2023. We always appreciate your time, Skip. Thanks so much.